Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com, and today I'm testing and reviewing and unboxing the S1 Mini Baton from Olight. This is a 600 lumen mini flashlight. Really looking forward. This is brand new from Olight, and I've tested a bunch of their Olight uh, flashlights before, uh, but they just were nice enough to send this one out. So I'm going to get this thing unboxed because that's what I do. I'm going to flip my camera around just so you can see what I'm doing. I'll get this thing opened up. I'll go over the features and benefits with you, and then we'll get this thing outside and I'll show you how bright it gets. And then we'll finish up this review. All right, so here's your S1 Mini Baton from Olight, 600 lumen. Let's get this bad boy open and I'll show you what's so, what's so cool about it. Oh, first thing, read me. Thank you. It's saying that before you uh, try to use this, there's a little uh, insulating film on the battery. So you want to make sure you take that off. I like how Olight does this, just pull out, just like that. And then there's all your goodies right there, flashlight, everything is right here. So we'll put that off to the side, get this thing opened up, and we'll see what we got. Okay, so that's everything there. So you have your Olight wrist tether. You have your micro USB to USB charging cable. You have your Olight brochure. They're usually really good about giving you a brochure. It tells you about all the other flashlights that Olight offers. That's always good. Build excitement in the brand. There's your user's manual. Got to have that. I'll set this thing off to the side. And what they're talking about on the tail caps, you basically you unscrew this. And there's your insulating film. So you do want to take that off. Here's your CR123, RCR123A battery. What's really unique about this is that it has a USB charging port right on it. Really cool. 650 milliamp battery and USB rechargeable. So what you would do is you would get your cable, plug it in just like that, and you plug it in USB and you have a rechargeable battery. Awesome. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this bad boy back in there. Put the tail cap back on. Nice little rubber O-ring around the bottom here. So that's really gonna help seal out the water. The clip is removable. So if you don't want the clip, you can take it off. I usually like to leave it on, especially for a little tiny flashlight like this. I like that it has the uh, traditional blue bezel for all O-lights as well as the matching blue bezel around the power button. 600 lumen total output. Now, one thing I really like that when you plug this thing in so you can charge it, I just have a battery bank right here. When you plug it in, it has a little red light that will light up and tell you that it's charging. And when it's fully charged, that'll turn off and it'll turn green. All right, so what you want to do when you have this thing all charged up is that you hit, push and hold the power button on the side, which is right here. You push and hold it once, and then it turns on to moonlight mode. Hit it again, turns it off. Push it again, it goes into low. Push it again, it goes into medium. Which again, it goes into high, and then you double tap, it goes into 600 lumen max, so that's your turbo. And then you push it again and hold it, and that's gonna drop it back down. Push it again, and just, it shuts itself off. Now, it also has a memory setting, so it will remember the last setting that it was on, but I mean, look how tiny this thing is. Definitely worth, you know, its weight, I'm sure. Speaking of weight, let's get it on the scale. I wanna see how much it weighs. One point five ounces with the battery, so that's awesome. And I love the design here. So you have your Olight S1 Baton Mini. You can see the, the craftsmanship that's built in here. It's really, really nicely made, very well put together. Big fan of Olight flashlights. They make some really good stuff. The clip is removable, as I said. Now, when you put the battery in, something to consider. When you put the battery in, you want to make sure that the positive is facing towards the butt cap. The negative faces towards the light, the, the light head itself. You screw that in nice and tight, and then you're good to go. You can clip this thing to the brim of your hat. And I like that it's like a dual clip. So you can clip it this way, or you can clip it this way. So that's kind of nice. I like that Olight did that. Now this flashlight also has lockout mode. So what you would do is you would push from the off position, you would push and hold it, and it would flash once. And then once it does that, you can't turn this flashlight on. So when it's in lockout mode, you push it, it's gonna light up red, telling you that it's in lockout mode. Same kind of situation, push and hold it, it'll flash once. And then now you're back in business. 
So you can push and cycle through the different light output modes, turn it off, and it's off. <clears throat> so the S1 Mini also has a timer. So what you would do is you would push it while the flashlight is on. So you turn it on, push it once, and then hold it. It goes into one blink for a short timer of three minutes. And if you do it again, it goes into a double blink, and that's the nine minute timer. So this way you can just really say, you know, I don't really need the flashlight to stay on for very long, just three minutes or nine minutes. And then you can set the timer and it'll turn itself off automatically, which is really cool. So the way you access strobe is you triple click the side button here, just like that, and you have strobe. Push it again, turns it off. Another thing I really like is you have direct access to turbo mode. So if you double click, it goes right into turbo and that's super bright. For a little tiny flashlight, this thing is ridiculous. Another thing you could do is you can access moonlight mode, and moonlight mode is on all O lights. And the way you do that is what the flashlight is off, you push and hold it, and then it goes into this moonlight mode, which is hardly any lumens at all. But if you're reading a map at night and you just need a little bit of light, you don't want to burn through your battery, perfect. Now, as I said, O light also comes with their little wrist lanyard, and they always come with this little uh, needle, and I really like that because that's how you're going to get this thing to stay put. And the way Olight did it this time is they did it on the clip. So that's super cool. I'm going to just kind of thread this thing through just like that. And then you kind of just bring this around and then you're good. Now you have your wrist lanyard. You don't really need to keep this little needle anymore, but I would definitely keep it because it's going to be almost impossible to get this thing threaded back through without it. So yeah, there's your wrist lanyard. So there's your S1 Baton Mini from Olight. Let's get this bad boy outside. I'll show you how bright it gets. All right, so I'm out here with the S1 Baton Mini from Olight. I'm going to turn it on right now. This is low. There's medium. There's high. And then there's turbo. That's your 600 100 lumen right there serious beam on this little guy I mean as I said this thing is just tiny it fits in the palm of your hand and as for beam throw this thing does really really well awesome little flashlight all right so I'm across the street from my house and I have the Olight S1 Baton Mini so I'm just going to turn it on there's the low you can kind of see this right here you can see me that's low, there's medium. I'll come back a little bit further. There's high, oops, and then there's your 600 lumen turbo mode. Crazy bright, not bad for a little tiny handheld flashlight. This thing is small, it puts out a ton of light. I really like it. Good job Olight, once again, for making a quality product. You know, super bright, tiny, ultra lightweight, pretty awesome. All right guys, so that's my review of the S1 Mini Baton. This is, uh, here it is right here. S1 Mini Baton, it's from Olight. So you definitely wanna make sure you check out Olight's website. Here it is right here. They have a ton of really cool flashlights, very high powered uh, flashlights and headlamps too. So definitely worth a look at in my opinion. If you guys have any questions or comments about the S1 Mini Baton, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So, so if you like my review and found it informative, you want to buy one of these for yourself or as a gift, make sure you click on that link down in my description box down below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. So I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. Thanks again for tuning into my latest video. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, tech and camera reviews, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.